Well, thanks for joining us, Fred. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. So why don't you tell us kind of what you spearheaded as part of this release? Yeah, so what we've started with the 2016 release is that we uh, started to uh, implement some small improvements. So we started with the batch schematic, for example. And in this uh, extension one release, we are like taking the same way, doing some small improvements more to existing features than adding new, uh, new tools, new features. And this is something that we want to do uh, more and more. So uh, listen to the customer feedback who are saying the tools that you uh, already have are good, but they could be a little bit better. The workflow could be optimized. So this is like the road we're taking and trying to do more and more of these. So there are a lot of things that have changed. And I think all these little things actually add up to big change because you've addressed a lot of concerns. Yeah, yeah. So we, it's uh, like, like I said, in 2016, we really concentrated more on the batch schematic. In that release, we went a little bit uh, uh, throughout the software and did some uh, uh, modifications uh, to uh, more, uh, more uh, features. Okay, well, why don't we start by kind of walking us through some of these changes. Yeah, so uh, one, of, one of the first change that uh, you should notice is that uh, interface-wise, we've done some uh, minor uh, adjustments. So, uh, for example, the uh, real geometry doesn't jump when you switch tabs. Uh, so the uh, separator at its uh, minimum size is always at the same place between uh, the timeline tab, the tools tab. You can see that we also uh, went back to a uh, much more uh, pre-anniversary uh, UI for the tools tab uh, with uh, some menu instead of uh, tabs where we've cleaned it up a little bit. So uh, we removed some uh, shades of gray uh, in the tools tab in, uh, in the batch as well. So it's a little bit uh, less distracting. And we also uh, introduce a new shortcut that will allow you to uh, switch the area under cursor to a full screen or full height uh, view. So uh, with uh, space and uh, tilde, you can just say, I want my, uh, say, let's say my reels a full screen or a full screen timeline. So uh, most area like here and even in conform, if you want the, uh, the, the list to be full screen, you can do that. Uh, throughout the software. So one of the uh, long-standing requests that we had from customer was uh, to add additional context views to uh, the batch schematic. Uh, so what we did in this release is that we uh, made uh, 10 context view available instead of two. Uh, obviously, it comes with some uh, workflow change, uh, some that could be disruptive as, at first. For example, uh, shortcut-wise, people are used to uh, access the context view with uh, one and two. And in that case, uh, one through uh, zero were not available because of uh, conflicts. So we had to change the shortcut to space one to space zero, for example. And we also uh, changed in a way the, the, the way you set the context. So it's still the same shortcut to assign a context to a view, but it pops that window where you can select which context uh, slot you want to assign to. So you can just click here, just hit enter, and it will actually uh, set on the highlighted one, or just enter a number on the keyboard to assign it. So here I'll just go on two. So it was uh, assigned on two, and uh, you will notice that when I pop that window, I always see the name of the node that is uh, currently assigned to that context. Uh, so I can go uh, up to 10. I can also uh, use a different shortcut, which is a meta equal to uh, just assign the uh, next available context slot so I don't get the window. But, um, but obviously when you reach a point where you have 10 of them, then the window will pop up and say uh, that there's no more available room. You can always uh, overwrite a context. So if I want to add a context here and want to uh, get rid of the context on comp, I can just click on that slot and uh, assign this. So the, it's, a little, it's a little bit different, the mindset, because with two contexts, you were always rolling so it would always go like set one, mm -hmm. then one becomes two, and so right. yeah. so uh, so in that case here, it's really a ten context slot that you have to manage. 
And based upon that listing, it may actually lead people to actually name their nodes something sensible. As well. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. But, but now there are some other things that you did that actually aren't readily apparent to show. Um, you've got, also got some nice enhancements. enhancements. Um, starting with, for instance, uh, high uh, DPI monitoring. Yeah, so uh, some people probably already uh, are uh, already running Flame on the IDPI monitors, and the problem with it is that the the way our uh, user interface was uh, structured, the it was it was uh, really pixel based. So you would end up with very very small buttons uh, on the screen. So we uh, redid all of this. So now you have a scaling factor and you can just set the uh, UI to the size that you want. So you can still have very small buttons if you like them, but you can have, a <laughs> but you can have a, uh, let's say, a, a, a button that would look more like what you had on a standard monitor. Yeah, so you make the decision between more imagery on your screen or yeah, yeah, more that's it, space, that's right? Yeah, that's it, that's it. Because the, uh, what we had right now was really that the interface would cover the entire screen but you would get a lot of space for uh, for the image since you had the very small menus. But now, you, like you said, you, you have the choice. And what other kind of little minor changes did you make in the software? Uh, like I said, we did some changes uh, like for example, in archiving, where uh, we brought back the archive and close button, which was like a simple thing. A, yeah, it's a simple thing that we we us. got a lot of requests for for that one. Uh, things like uh, the uh, BFX renders are no longer included in the, the in the archive. Uh, if you, if you want to, obviously, uh, we did some uh, modifications, some smaller modification to the batch group workflow, where you can now uh, name. Uh, you can now name uh, the batch directly from uh, that window that I access by shift clicking here. Uh, you get also empty clips if I delete. So if I go uh, find in reels and I delete that clip, it tells me, uh, do you want to, are you sure you want to remove it? Now we keep a trace in the schematic instead of just deleting the clip. So we made some uh, small improvements like that. We also added like, for example, notifications for the uh, destination, the set, uh, the set as destination, uh, like here. Uh, so, a a bunch of small stuff throughout the software uh, that were mainly uh, customer driven things that uh, people uh, ask for, and this is really like the the emphasis uh, of the the work I'm doing lately is to answer to those uh, to those uh, requests. Like I said, it's maybe not one big single feature, but taken together kind of uh, just continual improvements, especially from long time users who um, kind of can help drive making the software easier to use. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us. I appreciate it. My pleasure, thanks.